Hi, First Kids Perry. It's so good to be with you today. I just want you to know how much I've missed you. Uh, I really miss your special hugs and your smiles and just hearing what's going on in your week, being able to talk with you about the Bible lessons that we're teaching and hear what you have to say about them. Um, please know that I'm praying for you and your families, and I will continue to do so. Uh, right now, we can't be together here at the church, but we're praying that that will happen soon. But as we're going into Easter, I would like to just share a message with you. Um, so on Easter Sunday, we really celebrate the fact that um, Jesus rose from the dead, and we have victory over our sin because of that, meaning we can have our sins cleansed. So we're all sinners, the Bible says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So there's not a one of us who has not sinned. And so our sin separates us from God. Um, we have to pay a penalty for that. The Bible says for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. And that's in Romans 6.23. And that tells us that there is a penalty we have to pay, but it also tells us that Jesus paid that penalty when he died on the cross for our sins. And so the wages of sin is death, meaning not physical death, but separation from God. And But we have a free gift. God made the way through Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. And we have to believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. The Bible says that, and that he was buried and that he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. So we have to believe that Jesus came, that he went to the cross, he died for our sins. We have to believe that he was buried and that he rose again. And so if we admit to God that we're a sinner and we believe that that Jesus is God's son and that, and that he was buried and he rose again, we can have a relationship with him. We have to go to God and ask him for forgiveness of our sin. And we also have to turn from our sin. So it's asking forgiveness for our sin and repenting of that. Not just being sorry, but being very remorseful for our sin and, and very sorrowful. It's our heart feels so bad that we've sinned against our God. And when we do that, then we can have that forgiveness. So we ask God to forgive us, we repent, and then we turn because before we become a follower of Christ, we're doing things our way. But when we want to become a follower of Christ, we're gonna repent and we're gonna turn. And that means we're looking to Jesus. We're not looking to ourselves. We're not the ones who are going to go, oh, this is the best way for me. We're going to read God's word. We're going to pray and talk to him and ask him what is the best way for us to um, walk in our walk. And when we do that, then we do pray. And there's not a magic prayer, but we can pray and ask Jesus, tell him, you know, I know I'm a sinner. I know that I've sinned against you. And I'm so sorry that I've sinned against you. I do believe that you came and you died on the cross for my sin and you rose again on the third day. And that today you are alive. You are alive, Jesus. And so we believe all those things. We tell that to Jesus. And then we pray and we ask him, Jesus, can you take over my life? I don't want to be the boss of my life anymore. I want you to be the one who's the leader in my life. And so we pray that prayer and ask him. And so really, that's the whole message really of Easter is that Jesus came. He was born. He died for our sins. We can have forgiveness of our sin through him. And we can spend eternity with him. The Bible does say as a believer or follower of Christ that we can spend eternity with him in heaven forever and ever. What a glorious day that is. And on Easter Day, Resurrection Day, is a time that we remember that. Even as a believer or follower of Christ, it's just such a great time to just remember and celebrate 
what he's done for us, that's what we do. And for those of you who are still learning about who Jesus is, who God is, how all this comes together, well, just continue reading your Bible. Talk to mom and dad about the questions you have. And I'm going to be praying for you as well. And I pray that you all have a blessed Easter and celebrate that he is risen indeed.